Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the log space function to generate a vector of a logarithmically spaced values. First, I'll introduce you to the syntax of the function, then I'll explain the function's input arguments, and finally, we'll work a few examples in MATLAB. Let's get started. The log space function is used to generate a row vector of logarithmically spaced values. The function name stands for logarithmically spaced. The function is used when you need a set of points that span a wide range of magnitudes. Here's the syntax of the function, where log space is the name of the function and the input arguments are enclosed in parentheses. The function has three input arguments. A and B are the bounds specified as a pair of numeric scalars, where A is the first bound, which corresponds to 10 to the power of A, and B is the second bound, which corresponds to 10 to the power of B. N is the number of points specified as a real numeric scalar with a default value of 50. The log space function generates a row vector of logarithmically spaced values between the bounds A and B, where A, the first bound, corresponds to 10 to the power of A, and B, the second bound, corresponds to 10 to the power of B. The third input argument n is the number of points, which has a default value of 50 unless specified by the user. The points are evenly spaced on a logarithmic scale. A decade on a logarithmic scale represents a range of values that spans a factor of 10 or an order of magnitude. The first bound and second bound span a range of B minus A decades. All right, let's head over to MATLAB and work a few examples. Before we continue, it'd be great if you'd click the like and subscribe buttons below. If you want to support the channel, leave a super thanks in the comments or click join to become a member. All right, on to MATLAB. The log space function generates a row vector of logarithmically spaced values. Because the values typically span a wide range of magnitudes, MATLAB will display the values using scientific notation. So, we're going to force MATLAB to display the numeric values in a compact form with five total digits using the command format short g. Next, let's use the log space function to generate a row vector of six logarithmically spaced values between 10 to the power of minus 2 and 10 to the power of 3. The name of the function is log space. The first input argument is the first bound, which corresponds to 10 to the power of minus 2. The second input argument is the second bound, which corresponds to 10 to the power of 3. And the third input argument is the number of points, 6. When I press enter, MATLAB generates a row vector of 6 logarithmically spaced values between 10 to the power of minus 2 and 10 to the power of 3. The first bound and the second bound span a range of B minus A decades. B has a value of 3, A has a value of minus 2, so the first bound and the second bound span a range of 5 decades or 5 factors of 10 or 5 orders of magnitude. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Next, 
let's use the log space function to generate a row vector of logarithmically spaced values between 10 to the power of minus 2 and 10 to the power of 3. But this time, we'll omit the third input argument, which is the number of points. The name of the function is log space. The first input argument is the first bound, minus 2. The second input argument is the second bound, 3. When I press enter, MATLAB returns a row vector of 50 logarithmically spaced values, where 50 is the default number of points. You can generate a row vector of descending values if the second bound b is smaller than the first bound a. So let's use the log space function to generate a row vector of six logarithmically spaced values between 10 to the power of three and 10 to the power of minus two. The name of the function is log space. The first input argument is the first bound three. The second input argument is the second bound minus two. And the third input argument is the number of points six. This time, when I press enter, MATLAB generates a row vector of six logarithmically spaced values in descending order. All right, that's it. I hope this video provided you with a good introduction to the log space function in MATLAB. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more, subscribe below. If you would like to support the channel, leave a super thanks in the comments or click join to become a member. You can find me online and on social media at David Calamus and Spartan Professor.